Hey, how are you doing? This is Tokyo Mamma Medical. Today I'm going to talk about how I came up with the idea of making shoulder, elbow, finger dislocation there. Uh, I used to work for a high school setting. I uh, start uh, year 2000, I started working for Brackridge High School in San Antonio, Texas. And soon after that, I realized a lot of clinical skills I should have, I, there was, I don't have it, you know. Uh, uh, back then, every actual reduction of dislocated joint is a practice, which means you don't know when it's gonna happen, you know, so there's no way to practice, okay. I see it as a problem, so I start looking. Something, you know, there, there got to be something because, you know, CPR mannequin is basically it's the medical simulation product. It's pretty, you know, cheap and simple. You know, it got to be something like that. So I just started looking, couldn't find it. So I decided to make my own. So uh, shoulder dislocation simulator was the first uh model i created but to get to the point you know there's many things i had to do uh what material i used to recreate the tension and then i realized you know the okay we can use a spring but what kind of spring the thickness the length and that means how many springs we need and what kind of well, how are you going to connect with the bones? Okay, it's the wire. You know, how many, how, which, which wire you use? How many wires? Location of it. You know, there's so many trials and there's so many failures, but, you know, kept going. And finally, you know, uh, Dr. Curtis approved it. And that's why a shoulder dislocation was uh, created. And after that was kind of, I would say, easier, easy, because I decided to use the exact same tension system for everything, and as a low tech, you know, and people like it, you know, it's a low tech, there's no computer issues, you know, the virus or bugs or crash, anything, nothing at all. So, and that's one of the reasons immediately people like it too, so. Uh, that's how it came up, you know, problem solving. That's that's something I think it's in my blood. I don't know, but that's how it came up. And then still I'm going. Uh, the hip dislocation will be ready, hopefully, Tyler, in three months. Maybe not. Maybe it might take six months. Maybe, maybe. I hope not, but you'll be ready. And then after that, I am still debating, should I go TMJ dislocation simulator as a next project or ankle dislocation simulator with the pulse function? I'm still debating. So uh, if you, if you, you know, just you can vote, that would be great. So, uh, so that's it for now. Thank you.